Just hop and I don't need height to get higher So sit back and relax and enjoy the life It's an aya It's an aya It's Anaya, and today I am remaking a video I did almost three years ago when I first started. Well, really, two and some months. Well, anyways, anyways. Um, I've had my YouTube channel since I was 16. I'm about to be 18 in April, and I decided to redo some of my videos I did earlier on, starting off because I have grown um, editing-wise, and I've gotten a camera. Which I have just been giving myself the run around of. I've had it for like weeks and I this is my first time ever using it. I've been scared to use it. But um <laughs> we're making it work. Anyways, um at the beginning of me doing YouTube I did a QA video. Um since then I have grown with I think I started off maybe like five subscribers at the time I did the QA video. I had maybe a a little under 100 right now I'm at 394 um, I'm thankful for all of you guys I just wanted to redo a video like I said in my New Year's resolutions video I don't plan on changing and I have not necessarily changed but um, I'm growing and so a lot of the things I used to do or did or different opinions have changed so with that being said I asked my snapchat story um, to ask me some questions and they did so I have 11 questions that I'm going to answer for you guys and yeah got my phone y'all I can finally use my phone and do those type of videos um I have a camera so first question let me go to the camera roll. all right I'm there I'm there the first question, you guys, is what dating advice would you give to someone who's freshly in the dating game? Now, y'all, I've had two boyfriends. I've said it in several of my videos. I have had two boyfriends. I only claim two because I dated only two people after my mom gave me the okay to date, which means anybody before the okay don't count. Simple. So, with that being said, I don't really think y'all would want But like, obviously, y'all want it because you ask. But, like... Y'all, you wouldn't, you're not going to like what I say because the boys are stupid. Like, <laughs> um, they're real stupid. They don't really mature until college. So, like, freshly in a dating game, us girls, to be honest, we mature quicker. We go on a date. I, un I understand. I've been dating since kindergarten. It's, like, mad stupid. I just thought I was doing something. But... The best advice to give anybody, early dating, thinking about dating, in the middle of dating, trying to figure out what's going on, is to know yourself, know what you have to offer, know what you bring to the table, same as offering, um, know who you are, know what you will allow, what you won't allow, because dudes will test every, every, I mean, bruh, everything, they gonna try it. Which is why I, like, the girls be like, I can take your dude, or I can get any dude I want. Like, I understand, maybe you're trying to, some girls be trying to boost their head up, but realize that getting a dude is nothing. That's the easiest thing. That's, that's nothing. Getting one that's loyal, has manners, trustworthy, actually cares, express their emotions know how to communicate and the list goes on and on and on that's probably why i'm single because i refuse to like not have my list because it's the bare minimum a lot of dudes do not have the bare minimum until college maybe even a little afterwards like child so the best thing is to know your worth that way you don't be in a three month six month relationship and very drained and not knowing what more you can do because you feel like you're doing everything you can do while expressing the situation or your feelings and he's not bringing anything to the table the best thing you can do is have everything bring everything to the table know your worth and know that what you will or won't allow 
And that way, once you get with somebody who is not worth it, you know the deal. That way you're not stuck six months in, a year in, two, three years in with no commitment or with anything, nothing, anything lower than your standards. Simple. Straight like that. So, best advice, know yourself. Simple. Question number two. What is your favorite hobby? Right now, I am currently not doing anything consistently. Um, I read. I do my school work. And I do ACT practice. All of which is kind of just a mandatory need just to get meet my basic standard of what I need to do in order to succeed the goals that I plan to, you know, like succeed do it like it's the only thing to succeed is the right word to get what I'm trying to say but anyways I have certain goals for myself and I'm taking the necessary steps to get them so therefore those are necessary hobbies I would I refuse to call those hobbies because no the only thing consistently that I'm consistently doing right now is eating and watching Netflix that's those are my hobbies eating and watching Netflix Disney Plus yeah watching TV um yeah the third question is are you straight now y'all I don't know what possessed y'all to ask me this question I don't know what I be posting to make y'all think I'm a little sideways but um I can't even handle my own my own self I give myself a headache So, what makes y'all think if pretty old me, pretty old me gives me a headache that I want somebody else. Now, don't get me wrong, y'all females be cute and I'm not a hater. I will most definitely slide up. And maybe it's, it's probably somebody who I call cute or something because it's, an, it's an anonymous or whatever. But, like, I'm just not a hater. Like, if you're cute, I'm going to say it. I'm going to, yes, ma'am. Yes. But this is because I was raised with females around me who... They gonna hype you up. Like, I'm a hyper. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, anyways, I am straight. Straighter than straight. Like, boys are very, uh, cooties, like, work my nerves type stuff. But girls, baby, y'all got too much going on for me. i rather, the only girl, the only girl that I'm even mildly attracted to is yours truly. Like, look at me. Look, look at me. Yeah. Yeah. I want to date me too if I was you. Yeah. So anyways, I would date myself if I could. Like, if I could clone myself, I swear for Jesus. I would date myself. Honestly, even if I could clone myself, because I'm pretty sure they're going to make that soon. I'm not paying a million dollars to make me another version of me. Which sounds crazy, because why wouldn't I pay for myself? Like, I feel like I'm worth more than a million bucks. But, like, I would not pay that million bucks. That's something I got to talk about. I got to figure it out. Because why would not pay for myself? But I would expect somebody else to pay for me because that's just how good of a person I am. But I wouldn't pay for myself. So anyways, we, we don't talk about that no time. So anyways, for the fourth question, I was asked, do you like school right now? Child, no, I do not like school right now. I'm supposed to be at school right now. And I'm not. And to further explain that, um, my school simply just doesn't do anything. Like, for it to be a school that's for kids, that our school is for, they don't do anything for us. Like, we're, it's not a school for the students. It's like a school for a job. Um, they don't do anything more than what they are required to do, and they are only required to give us work and show us a YouTube video of how to do it. They are not even really required to teach. And, um... I originally, first I had two classes. Our schedule was changed every nine weeks. Um, right now I have four classes. But half of those classes I'm literally just sitting there either doing book work or just literally sitting there making, doing whatever I see fit. I could be watching Netflix on my phone. I could be doing HD practice. I could be reading. Whatever the case may be. Um, but it's just that that's nothing. I'm not doing nothing. The other two classes are pretty engaging. Um, but I just, I see no 
reason to really sit in class. I just, I'm an introvert. I, I try to get myself out there, but I don't even talk to nobody at all at school. I don't even open my mouth unless I'm putting food in it for real. We also wear masks. It's just, like, I just, I be chilling. I can chill at the house. I can do my work at the house, which I do. So, school is, um, not the best thing right now. I do not like school. Simple. I, just, I, I used to, and now it's like, I will stay in bed and don't nobody care. My grades are good, so, huh. Okay, I think this is the fifth question. One, two, three, four, fifth question. I don't know how I'll be losing count. I guess I have to talk to them for a long time. Anyways, question number five is, what is your favorite book? Um, I do read consistently. Um, I don't necessarily read for fun anymore, but more so because I'm taking ACT again. Um, and reading is one of my strongest subjects. And you don't have to... The ACT has um, scientific readings and um, inform informal readings. But if you have a good base of reading, then it helps. So I read, basically. Um, but I do not have a favorite book. Um, I tell people all the time, which I probably should not. But I was on punishment for like three, four years. Um, literally, straight. Every time I was finna get off of punishment, I got back on punishment. There's nothing to like, I'm not raving about it. But honestly, a, good, a lot of good came out of it. Um, I read a lot. I wrote a book in that time. I actually wrote and published a book in that time. So honestly, like, I don't, I don't even know what to say about it. I mean, I wouldn't say no, no, don't get in trouble or something like that, but um, I wasn't allowed to watch TV in my room. I had a TV. I was not allowed to watch it in my room. I could only watch it in the living room. And once again, I'm a homebody. I like to be in my own space, my own area. So, I stayed in my room a lot and I read. Um, some of my favorite authors are Sharon G. Flake. Sharon G. Flake. Make sure I say her name right. Shannon Draper. Um, and Sister Soldier, which I just read one of her books. The Coldest Winter Ever for the first time maybe last year. And I have not gotten any of her other books, but I plan on it. And there's a couple other people that I read consistently. I just can't think of their names right now. But I'm more of an author lover than a certain book. Like if I read two of your books and I see your writing style and I like it, I go for that author more frequently or whatever the case may be. So um, don't have a favorite book, but right now I am reading The Color Purple, which I cannot believe this is my, I'm, now I'm reading that book. Um, but I am reading The Color Purple right now. It is good. Don't have a favorite though. For my sixth question, um, who is your celebrity crush? Now, y'all, what I'm about to say is slightly, it's going to sound slightly weird, but it didn't, it might not, it might make a lot of sense, but it's, it's kind of weird to me. So anyways, um, I actually do not have a celebrity crush currently, but previously I've had several. I've had several. Um, starting off, it was Justin Bieber, then it was Chris Brown. And then more recently, it was Michael B. Jordan up until he had got a girlfriend. Now, I say that what I'm about to say sounds weird only because I have, they have never been in my age range ever. I could, I could have never dated them in no lifetime because we were so, the age gap has always been 8 plus and I'm not dating no 8 plus person. I don't care. That's, that's just not even in me. But it's looking like I might have to do that in order to get somebody mature around these pots. But you, uh, uh, you know. Anyways. I say that because I'm the type of person once. I, I understand that I would I can never have a chance with them because of the age gap. Like it's this very big age gap. But I have this thing where if a celebrity that I like gets a girlfriend, I stop liking them. And I don't know if it's out of respect of the relationship or what the case may be. Um, but I just stop. Like, they don't be discussing anything. I still like them as artists. Like, Michael B. Jordan just came out with a movie called The Journal for Jordan. It's a very good movie. You should watch it if you have not. Um, it's cringy. But as soon as it came out, I was watching it. I put it on my calendar to watch because I like Michael B. Jordan as an actor. Um, 
but I just I don't like him anymore. I don't even like Chris Brown anymore. Like I don't even listen to his music for real. I listen to his older music like when I was liking him and was as he grew. But now I don't know what he be got going. He be doing too much. And Justin Bieber, I used to really love him as an artist. Um, I still listen to him. But um, don't like him no more. He's married. He got his life going on. It just I don't know. Don't like him. Chris Brown, I don't know what he got going on. He just do too much. I don't know who he with or what. But just, Anyways, I don't have a celebrity crush right now. I am my own celebrity crush. <laughs> I'm not even a celebrity. Well, let me tell that I am a celebrity. But anybody else, they hate and say I'm not. But it's okay. So anyways, question seven. How's your senior year going? Um, It's going. I think it's um, it's just very it's been very dry. Like I said, my school is not a school for the students. We have not done anything worth doing. Um, they don't have like senior trips or anything. It's it's dry. Um, I planned on it picking up in the next two months. Um, I start track in three days. Yeah, I start track practice um in the next few days. So, um, that's going to get more exciting for me and a little more something. Give me something worth giving. Um, and then I have my birthday and prom in the same month. So, that's exciting. And I've been asked to go to prom several times. So, that's exciting. Um, might end up going to prom more than once. It depends though. Because, like I said, y'all do something acting right now. I mean, I can go by myself. And yeah, I don't care if like y'all if y'all ain't gonna act right, let me know from the jump, cause I will go by myself. I don't don't ruin my time. I do not like baby. Woo! That give me that's probably why I'm singing. I cannot. I swear. Woo! Wait, no, baby. So hopefully life kind of picks up in these next few months. Um, my prom is in April and my birthday is in April. So I feel like that's kind of like a chaotic month and I'm very excited. Um, because I just, I don't know, a lot going on and be like, oh, I'm so tired of sitting there. I like it, y'all. I like it. So, um, yeah, hopefully it picks up because right now it's sucking booty. And, um, me and my mom haven't really talked about, well, we have, but not recently talked about like doing a senior trip for me, um. Cause my, like I said, my school not doing it, and I don't really have no friends, and I ain't tripping about it. Cause honey, I like spending time with myself like a lot. Like even my mama do be like, you can invite somebody. So I'm like, no. And y'all, babe, y'all want to feel about that piece of information? Cause I ain't gonna cap. I be quick to hit them with the no, no. Anyways, next question, cause that's why I ain't got no friends either. I just, <laughs> I got to do better. I listen to myself. I really have to do better, but I like being by myself. Like, it's the best and worst thing ever because I want friends. I want to be able to engage, but y'all don't do. Y'all don't act right. Like, who? I'm not a ride or die. Every time I ride or die, I die. Every time I'm trying to sing a dime for y'all. Anyways, on to the seventh. I think it's the seventh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On to the eighth question. Um, what did you want to be when you grew up? So, if you let me tell it, um, I've always wanted to be a psychologist, if you let me tell it. But my mom says that I chose the profession of the people that I looked up to. So, like, my granddad, who I've talked about in a lot of my videos because of his mentality, um, I feel like a, he brought a big chunk of his mentality and just brought, put it into me. Um, he always think I'm not listening to him. I don't know why. Maybe I'll be zoning out. But I cling on to every word my granddad said. Like, yes, yes, sir. You you should be proud of me because I am A1 and I get it from you. Real cute. Okay. Okay. But um, he was a teacher for the good part of my um, childhood. So for a good minute, and I say a good minute, like hot second really. That's really what I should say. I wanted to be a teacher and I say hot second because child the way I would pinch a child and call their mom and let them know and don't care and will resign and all all in two seconds yeah child don't play with me don't 
Do not play with me, okay? So yeah, I wanted to be a teacher for a hot second. Even even when I was teaching my little teddy bears and they weren't acting right, I was I was knocking their heads off. Cause why you ain't listening, huh? Yeah. Uh -uh. So anyways, yeah. Then my mom and my grandma both work in the home health nursing sitch ordeal. Um. I want to say that I wanted to do nursing, but honestly, every time Mama ever brought up nursing, I was like, uh-uh, I knew I didn't want to do it type thing. Um, seeing what they can do, though, um, it's always been like, there's always an option that I've always kind of been like, maybe I can do it if what I want to do don't pan out, but um, it's always, always been that type of thing. I never wanted to nurse. And then you have my auntie, who's a hairstylist. Um... She let me, she bought me many, plenty, plenty of dolls to play around with. But y'all, my hands get the doing stuff. And I just, I knew I didn't want to be her style. Anyway, after going through several different people, professions in my life, I just realized that that wasn't, that wasn't it. But then as I got older and I realized I'm very good at communicating, I'm very intrigued on emotions, and I like to talk. Um... I want to say I googled all of those different attributes and came up with psychology and that's what they showed me. But I can almost guarantee you that that's not really how that went. But we going to act like that's what I did, which I honestly really believe that I did just look it up. Uh, because believe it or not, I've always just been smart and I've just been doing stuff. Like I've been around people who just like made it clear that I could just google it. So I probably did just google it. <laughs> um, but anyways, on to question 8. Um, I think this question 8. 9, 10, 11. Yeah, this question 8. My 8th question is, are you a virgin? Now, first of all, who do y'all think y'all are to ask that question? Huh? Like, I'm listening. I'm waiting because... Well, let me not let y'all wait too long. Because, baby, we don't even play like that. I am very much so a virgin and I am celibate. Now, I know some teens say that and be lying they butt off. I mean, we know. But it's a look, look. <laughs> that ain't none of my business. I'm just saying, like, y'all, the way I do, Lord, dudes, y'all just, y'all fixing, y'all don't fix no noodles good enough to go in my mouth, let alone. And yep. So, no. And like I said, I've had two boyfriends. Um, they really didn't even last a year. Even though, if you really put up history, because my first boyfriend I had been talking to, we really dated in 8th grade and kept together. And then my second boyfriend, we really dated in 10th grade and then we just went on 11th. But we really, we really didn't actually date, have, like I said, I went a last date to 10th grade. So the relationship didn't really start to the time we started dating after the fact that I was allowed to date. And that's just a whole lot. I didn't get into it. But anyways, I have never really had nobody stick around for more than a year. I have had no, never had anybody's personality be consistent. Because like I said, boys know how to facade. They know how to just really fake it to the point where, I don't actually think I said that. I probably said that in another video. Well, actually I did a video. Anyways, boys know how to facade very bigly. Like they know how to fake it. Until they literally cannot no more. You will think they are faking until they become it. No, they fake it until they get tired. Um, so I have had nobody to fake it and become it. To the point where I was like, maybe, you know, no. Man, no. I'm also, this one, like I said, I've been saying some weird stuff off the wall. And I know this one is saying off because I've said it before. But I am a toucher. I don't know why, but I like to touch. But I do not like to be touched on. Like, I am not a physical toucher. Um, I met some new cousins um, last summer. And one of my cousins was like, I, I look like legitly looking and I was like, I, I look like legitly don't like it. Like, can you chill out? Like, all that hugging and I'm not, I'm emotional and I'm, I'm real emotional. But all that hugging and the kissing and all that, child, no, I'm like I'm like dead serious, not for it. But I like to like try to tell you, I like to be close and stuff. But once you get the 
stupid. I'd be like, uh, uh, get away. And I'm like this, like that. I'm like that for real. But then, like I said, I like to feel though. Because like, I get up under my mama to this day. Or like my dad, I get up under them all the time. So if they get to putting their stank toes on me, or they hand touch my head or something, I'll be like, oh, time to go. So anyways, that's, that's my take on it. I, um, I'm a virgin. I am celibate. I don't like to be touched. Dudes just make my, my booty itch, really. I just, child no. So anyways, for the 10th question, um, it says, what have you gotten detention for? Now y'all, I'm going to take y'all, I'm going to take y'all from the beginning, middle, and the end. Okay, and there is technically not an end because it's still ongoing, but I'm taking you. So the first time I ever got detention was in elementary. I kicked the boy in the eye. He was light skinned. He had to, like this big black spot. I didn't even think I kicked him that hard, but baby, they I don't even know why I lied because I didn't kick him. But I was honestly he had fallen down on the ground and it was windy. We had like sand or something dirt. We had loose dirt at the park and so it was getting in my eye and he had fell down i thought he honestly i thought something was wrong with him so i nudged him like i swear for jesus i just nudged him he got up and had a whole black eye i honestly believe that i didn't even do that like how i kicked him i swear i promise you somebody else did that he that's the reason he fell down and then i hit him and he claimed he looked he looked up and seen my shoes first of all it was dirt like looking back i really could have made a whole court case but I got in there and lied like I hadn't even kicked the boy, which I didn't know why I did that because it just didn't even make sense. At first I lied like I didn't kick him, then I said I kicked him, but I didn't do it that hard. So really I was just making it worse for myself. So anyway, I got a whipple for that. Like I just was doing, I didn't even know why I lied about them. Literally looking back, I didn't even have to lie. I would have got written up anyway. Like he had, a, he had a black eye and everybody said it was me, which I did kick him, but don't nobody know what happened before that. It didn't nobody even question if something had happened before that. But... That really is making me question. Because I probably got written up for something I literally did not do. But yeah, anyways, that was the first time. The second time, baby, and look, the second time, I got written up for a skipping class. And I do these. I'm not even sure what these call. I'm not in school right now. I don't care. We not, look. But these right here. I got written up because I was supposed to skip class. Now, here's the whole story now. I was in a yearbook. That was the class. We didn't do half or nothing in the class. We literally just sat there. I had friends in there, but sometimes talking and stuff gets boring. You sit there and you talk every day, and you like to read. Like, this is before I got in trouble. I still like to read and everything. And I had a good relationship with the librarian. You could only, like... You can only check out two books. She was letting me check out four. I thought that was like the coolest thing. I thought I was eight one, cool, like doing my thing. She was kind of young, um, not the typical sixty year old librarian. And so I liked the children in the library. A lot of them teachers allow me to chill in the library because I've always been ahead of my class, always. And I'm not just bragging, you know, but I'm like trying to get my story ahead. So I normally finish my work ahead of time and had extra time to just chill in the library. Well, anyway, she made it the biggest deal and said I can only go before her class or after her class. Well, after her class, I had math. I've always been bad at math, so I've always had to stay in for the whole 45 minutes I had to stay up in there. Therefore, I went before her class. Y'all, I came back five minutes late. I got ten fingers up, you know what I mean. I came back five minutes late and she huffed and puffed and blew the walls down. She was questioning me and this, that, and the third. I told her the truth. I didn't lie like I did in the first time I got detention. I was, I was in the library. I had the books to prove it. I was, I was in the library. I checked out these books. You can check the cameras. I mean, I didn't think it was that serious. You literally told me the day before to go before your class. So I didn't think it was going to be a problem. I didn't have an attitude. I just said it how I said it, you know? Well, uh, she, like, and right now in high school, you can just go to the attendant's office and get a tardy. I would have been fine with a regular tardy. She could have literally just put in her computer a tardy. No, honey. She puffed and puffed and blew the walls down. Just did the most, this, that, and third. And I was sitting there like, now, this is, I said this. What I'm going to say, I said, and this is probably why I got written up, even though she wrote, she wrote that I skipped her class. I probably 
to focus? Is it going to focus? Is it going to focus? Okay, focus. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, guys. My computer, not my computer, but my camera stopped. But, um, I was like, you're not going to talk to me as if I don't have parents at home. I refuse to let anybody, I don't care how old you are, I don't even care if you are my parent. They going to kill me until I said that. But, like, when it comes to disrespect, I've just always been raised to stand up for myself. Always. So, when it comes to disrespect, I'm not going to allow it. And I simply said, you're not going to talk to me like I don't have parents at home. If you have a problem with me, call my parents. However, if you check the cameras, you will see that I was in the library. I can go and get a note from the librarian. Which I said, I have the books also to prove it with the stamp, with the date and time. But it was the date. It wasn't the time back then, but it was the date of when I got it. And you can check the time of the camera. Y'all, she didn't like that. I little old me had something to say. And when I tell y'all, she was literally hitting the cabinets. I mean, hitting the cabinets, huffing, puffing, slamming, saying don't nobody got no respect for her. And I'm a bad example. And instead of third, but if I'm a bad example for speaking my mind, then well, call me a bad example because I'm going to speak my mind. So anyways, I got home and I came with a fat old write-up. And I'm just looking like I was crazy because like, you really got, where was you as, Naya? I was at the library. The library. And honestly, at that point in life, I probably should have realized that the school system is rigged and I should have just been a rebel my whole life anyways because do y'all know what these students be out here doing? Like, do you know what they do in the bathrooms? But y'all getting on me for going to the library. Oh, <laughs> okay. So y'all, anyways, I had ALC for like three days and I was interleaving so I was getting kicked my man them darn conditionings running and honestly I know my cheerleader my cheerleading coach hated me because I've always loved running so I'll be running with a smile on my face tired as a dog laughing giggling because my other teammates don't got in trouble too for some and they be just a giggling playing we just weren't worth nothing good nothing <laughs> But yeah, funny. So that was that. I guess that's what I ran up for. And now, I stay in attention for during tardies. I'm either late to school or I don't come to school. It's no in between. You either gonna have me late and not coming. And half the time I just be late. And um, you can have like four tardies. That's not enough for me. I need at least about how many days to go to school? One, two, Wednesday, Friday. I need at least, no. Well, I actually, they give us four tardies. That, uh, but then you just like four tardies in, in the nine weeks. You get four tardies for your whole entire nine weeks. That's not enough. I need like 20. But yeah, that's the story of my detentions life. That's like, that's what I be going through and that's what I be doing. Um, but yeah. And for the very final and last question, um, is are you looking to date someone right now? Um... No. <laughs> I was going to try to say something cute and smart, you know, you know. I, was, I don't know. I was trying to think of something, but no. Um, with all seriousness, boys just, they don't even give you the bare minimum anymore. It is um, a huge thing to be just toxic and just no good. And I don't even understand. Like, I just, my mom had me at 16, so I feel like she, I was kind of raised in the, like, the lover type, the the chill people with the dudes actually loving on that woman like my stepdad still comes in with like chocolate covered strawberries uh some my mama randomly likes like my mama like the peanuts and the m&m separate type stuff so she'll just get the m&ms and a thing of peanuts he'll bring her that we drink cranberry juice he'll bring that i asked Rich to bring some sour patch kids separate like we actually loved on over here so when a dude that I'm adding into my life don't even do the bare minimum, the bare minimum, I just be looking like, this is not what I was raised on. This is not what Love and Hip Hop was giving me. Like, I, not Love and Hip Hop, my Love and Hip Hop definitely gave me this vibe. But like, Love and Basketball, like, this is not giving. So, um, I think I'm going to wait till like college. And honestly, I... I don't even plan to date on co in college because I just really plan to be focused. But I feel like everybody who plan to be focused normally aren't. 
maybe I've just never met anybody who planned on being focused. I did. I've just never met anybody who planned on being focused and actually stayed focused. However, I have met myself and I plan to be that person. Um, boys just don't excite me. They've never excited me. I've dated since kindergarten. And they've just always been there, always checking me just to want to date me the following day. I just, I don't have, I have no words for dudes. Literally, it's like, why? Why do y'all do this? Why do y'all do that? Like, oh why? I feel like y'all could leave me alone. Y'all could just be my friend. I am a pretty chill person. And yet, y'all just like, why? Why? I don't know. But y'all, anyways, that's it for this video, you guys. I hope y'all like it. I hope it wasn't long and drawn out. I hope when it cut off, it didn't cut off my words. I kind of just started thinking it was going to do, I don't know. But, um... Yeah, I appreciate all of those who have stuck with me. When I first did this video, I had a little under 100 um, subscribers. Now I have like 390 something. Um, I am very thankful for all of you guys. Um, and yeah, I plan on continually continuing um, doing previous videos just out of the fact that I have learned and grown and learned how to edit and everything. So, um, I have some more of my previous videos coming back up, and, um, that's it, you guys. Hey.